Ukrainian army is carrying out its attacks on a large scale. The Russian army is withdrawing from the front because it wastes a lot of ammunition on the front. Russia launched a missile attack against cities in Ukraine. The total number of Russian missiles was equal to the country's annual production capacity. More than 80 months into the war, it ran out of ammunition supplies. Western sanctions also affect Russia's ability to produce advanced weapons for its war in Ukraine. Russia has already exhausted to bulk off its precision-guided munitions, making it unlikely for Ukrainian forces to strike Russia. Despite this, Ukrainian soldiers are able to hit up to half of the missiles fired at them. Perhaps Russia will not be able to shut down Ukraine's critical infrastructure facilities for a long time. The way the Russian propaganda apparatus referred to the October 10th explosion shows that it was a political decision, not a military one. Senior Kremlin officials tried to convince other citizens, including pro-war ones, that Russia was not fighting in a lost war, especially in light of the destruction of the Kerch Bridge and a series of setbacks in Ukraine. Given its inability to stabilize on land, the Kremlin has no choice but to launch a large-scale missile and drop attacks on the target. Ukrainian forces advanced east of the Oskil River into Luhansk Oblast. Russian troops conducted a week-long offensive operation against Bamut, but to no avail. The Ukrainian army liberates more territory in the southern Kherson region. Ukrainian forces recaptured five more settlements in the Burislav area and are now advancing from the Dnieper River towards the strategically important town of Nova Kakoka. To reach all the actual news fast and reliable worldwide, please don't forget to follow and like us.